When we watch someone like Steph Curry casually drain a shot from the tunnel, or see the Harlem Globetrotters pull off an impossible no-look, half-court alley-oop, it feels like magic. These moments blur the line between talent and impossibility. But what if I told you that some of the most jaw-dropping trick shots you've seen could be artificially enhanced, not with special effects or clever camera tricks, but with a basketball that guides itself mid-air? Let's talk about an experimental but very real category of technology, self-correcting projectiles. Military-grade missiles have been doing it for decades. Drones use it. Even smartphones use gyroscopes and accelerometers to detect movement and adjust in real time. The theory is simple. Once you launch an object, if it can detect its own orientation and position and it has some internal mechanism for shifting mass or altering its flight, then it can correct itself en route to a target. Now imagine applying that same principle to a basketball. Here's how it would work. Start with the ball itself. To the naked eye, it looks completely normal. Regulation size, regulation weight, regulation grip. But inside, things are very different. Hidden within the inner core of the ball is a combination of micro gyroscopes, accelerometers, a small processor, and a weight shifting mechanism. This mechanism could be a system of counterweights mounted on rails or pivots or even a small internal rotor system that creates torque. As the ball travels through the air, the onboard system constantly monitors the ball's motion in three-dimensional space. As soon as the ball leaves the player's hand, it begins making micro-adjustments. Let's say the shooter over-rotated their wrist just slightly or released the ball a degree off axis. In a normal game, that might be enough to make the ball miss but with a self-guiding system, internal sensors detect the deviation immediately. The processor runs real-time calculations, taking into account the launch angle, speed, spin, air resistance, and even gravitational arc. Based on this data, it determines how to shift the internal mass to nudge the ball back onto the ideal trajectory. Now, we're not talking about wild mid-air turns, that would be obvious. We're talking about subtle corrections, a degree or two here, a slight shift in spin there, just enough to convert a near miss into a perfect swish. The movements are invisible to the audience and even to slow motion replay. The ball still arcs normally, it still rotates, it still bounces on the rim and falls through, but behind the scenes, a computer is quietly guiding it. For the Harlem Globetrotters, who specialize in entertainment, this tech could theoretically be integrated into long-distance stunts, shots from balconies, rafters, or moving vehicles. With the right pre-programmed trajectory and the right weight shift system, the ball could compensate for human error and almost guarantee a make. For players like Steph Curry, whose shooting technique is already near perfection, even a small enhancement could allow him to make those impossible full-court warm-up shots 9 out of 10 times instead of 1 or 2. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Wouldn't the extra weight ruin the ball's feel? Not necessarily. Engineers could design a counterbalance system that weighs only a few ounces. By distributing the mass efficiently and embedding the electronics inside a hollow rubber casing, it could maintain regulation specs. Batteries could be micro-lithium ion, charged inductively through the surface. All of this is speculative, but very much within reach of current micro-engineering. It's important to note that this isn't magic, it's not CGI. It's real-world physics and robotics shrunk down and embedded in something as simple as a basketball. And if you think this sounds far-fetched, remember we already have guided bullets, stabilization systems for handheld cameras, and footballs with embedded sensors that track spin and velocity. A basketball with a hidden guidance system is not some futuristic sci-fi idea, it's simply a matter of funding and intent. Of course, this technology would never be allowed in official play, it would destroy the integrity of the game. But for viral videos, commercials, halftime shows, and entertainment exhibitions, 
It could be the ultimate illusion, letting audiences believe they're watching greatness when they're actually watching brilliant engineering behind the scenes. So the next time you see a half-court shot bounce off a rafter curve around a backboard and drop cleanly through the net, ask yourself, was that real? Or was the ball helping just a little bit? Because in the age of micro-technology, even the basketball might be in on the trick. Got a question about how something really works? Drop it in the comments and we might cover your topic in our next video.